What about uh, the, the location there? You shot that in Saigon, didn't you? Yeah, we shot it, yeah. shot it in Saigon, which is now known as Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh was the leader of, of the Viet Cong, who, 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 who retook his land. Uh, and we shot it in Hanoi, and Hoi, a place called Hoi An. Well, were they welcoming? Lovely. Oh, really? yeah. Oh, they're absolutely smashing. They're such, they're such nice people. It's quite amazing, you know. And I, I used to look at them and think, you're all Viet Cong. And it, what, what you do with soldiers, it did the same with me in Korea when I was young. I was in Korea when I was 19 with the Americans. And they, you dehumanize the enemy. Like in, 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 in uh, there, they was called the Charlie. They were just called Charlie, the Viet Cong. In, in China, in, in Korea, we were against the Chinese army, and the Chinese army, when Chinese were known as gooks. And you always get some word for them which dehumanizes them, you know. You don't, you, you, you don't want to kill a Chinese man, but you can kill a gook. And that's mm. how they work on your psychology. Mm. Yeah. You, you were, you were a, an active soldier, weren't you, in, in Korea? A national serviceman, but you I were... was a national serviceman, yeah. I was an infantryman. An infantryman, a yeah, They tried to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what kind of action did you see? Um, it, mostly patrol action. It's like, it was like the First World War. Trenches on either side. And then in the middle, there's, there's no man's land which each side tries to control at night, you know? So what you get is you get bombardments all day long, and then if you're not lucky, <laughs> you get sent out in the middle to control no man's land. Mm. Well, I was not very good at that. Well, um, yes, I never know. controlled a great deal of no man's land. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the problem that you face there, which not many people have to face, thank God, in, in their lifetime, is it's a question of, of your own fear, your own courage, oh, yeah. isn't it? You have to come to, you have to, come to terms with that. Mm. Um, um, I, I got... For me, it was rather like an initiation, like in, say, in the Maasai, you know, they give you a short spear and say, go and kill a lion to prove you're a man. Uh, and to me, if you think, every man, I'm sure, every, every person, you think, if I was in a dangerous situation, mm, sorry, would I burst into tears or would I run away? Would I be a coward and shame myself? And it's a very important thing as a young man to... I accidentally happened to me in Korea when we... We got to a position, it was four of us, there's always little patrols go out, reconnaissance, I mean, give me a break. But we got, we got out there, it was an officer and a corporal and another soldier and me, and we got out there and then we could hear all the voices and we knew we were surrounded. And then the Chinese always called at you, shouted at you, stuff. You know, you want to go home and all that stuff. And it's very eerie in the middle of the night, you know, I mean, you literally pee yourself with fear. Mm. Sure. Uh, and, 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 but we just sat there, the four of us, and we all went, what are we going to do? And we all four of us said, we'll die expensive. And we were going to die expensive. And we, we decided, we charged. We knew we were going to die. I mean, there must, there must have been a hundred of them. And we charged. And we charged the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean, there's the four of us, silly sods, <laughs> charging through. It's rice paddies we're on, rice paddies. Charging through, and we charged them to surprise them towards their lines. What we didn't know, they'd all gone round the back <laughs> behind us to stop us getting back to our lines. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we just kept running and running. I mean, we ran all night. I mean, we just ran and ran. <laughs> And ran, and we kept running. And then when we realised we were going towards them, we took a left turn. <laughs> Let's run over there. And we, we run anywhere. <laughs> and this is the story of my bravery as an infantryman. <laughs> I did the first four-minute mile. <laughs> and there was no one to see or record it. <laughs> but when I got back, I realised that what I'd done I said, I'm going to die dear. I'll die expensive. And we were ready to kill as many of those sons of bitches before we died. We really were. All four of us. And we're all... Each one was dumber than the other one. <laughs> the officer was a bloody stupid. <laughs> you know, cos he, he said to us, I'll give all of you a fiver if we go up the line, the, the, the Chinese line, and take a prisoner. I said, what the fuck? Are you insane? Are you? I said, I'm already a mug enough. I said, I'm out here fighting against communism for capitalism and I'm being paid four bob a day. <laughs> I said...
I, 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 I said, no, so we never went. <laughs> But nonetheless, I mean, did you find it a valuable experience? Oh, it's an extremely valuable mm. experience because I knew then that I... Any situation in my life, you go against me, it's going to be dear. You may win, it's going to be... It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. I don't care what it is. Anything. And yeah. I also, I, I suppose that something like that, as an actor, you draw on all that, don't oh you? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, it's, it's incredible, the things you can draw on. Mm. And, you, know, you can draw on abject terror for a start. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do abject terror. <laughs> And I tell you what I do know, which is in the film, how to do shocked horror. What do you mean when there's the... a shot in the film of me when the bomb goes off. When the bomb goes off yeah. and I start to look around. Yeah. That comes straight from the first time I saw bombardment results in in in, in, in Korea. Comes straight from that. That's interesting. That's, it's, good, because Stanislavski, which is what it, that doesn't mean you all mumble and scratch your armpits like Marlon Brando. <laughs> Stanislavski is is sense memory. Right, sense memory. You go, uh, you go back to something in your real life to do. I mean, like I can burst into tears at a drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. I just go to one place in my my life, which I won't mention, but I go to one place in my life and I'm bang gone. You do it now. Aren't I'm you? just. Ne I nearly went then. Because, because, because no, I did. You, I thought you, of it. You, yeah, I thought of it. you see, you can't you can't do it. You can't mess about with those things. That's it's like it's like the tools. It's like a surgeon's knife. You know, if I tell it, I'll blunt the scalpel. Yes. You know, and then the next time I do an operation... It won't be there. It won't be right. Fascinating. Okay. I was going to ask you about that later on, about the, the technique of film acting. But in the meantime, then, all right, so, therefore, you've been in the army, and so, therefore, the part that, that actually brought you to attention, you made films before, yes. but the part that really made your name was, was Zulu, wasn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Zulu. And, 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 and there, of course, against type, you played the top, didn't you? you played the officer. I played the officer, yeah, and... and and everybody thought I was like that until, and it was, everyone was so shocked when they met me. This uh, Cockney guy had played this toffee-nosed git, you know. <laughs> and and I, I based him I, on on uh, several officers that I knew, and and I also used to have lunch every week in the officers' mess at the Coldstream Guards, and I knew how officers behaved with privates because I, I had that relationship, which had abominably, right? Mm. But I didn't know how they behaved with each other. And Stanley Baker and I were playing fellow officers. So I had to get that way of doing it. Right. So that's why I used to go to the officers' mess and just observe how they treated each other, yeah. which was very, very well indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that of course, started you off on the, on the road to, 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 to stardom. Um, let's talk a little bit about, about mum and dad now, because... Um...